Oh, it's so nice. Check out the view. Breakfast time, everything looks good. We're gonna get this one, the pistachio croissant and the leaf chocolate croissant. <laughs> they also have like savory stuff, which also looks very good. Look at the hair. On the train to um, Dolomites now, and we got like business classes. No money to see business class on SQ, so you see business class on Italian trains. <laughs> but anyway, we bought it early last, so it was not very expensive. Yeah, here's our breakfast, which is unfortunately very squashed. <laughs> we also bought this, it looks really nice. Okay, let's eat. <laughs> Very very happy. Look at what they gave us on business class. Snacks, sweet. No idea what is this, but I think it's wet tissue. A lot of water. Oh, and juice. Yeah, love it. Anyway, y'all should try and get a business ticket as much as possible. Because when you buy early, it's uh, sometimes cheaper or equivalent to normal tickets, and it comes with a lot of perks, free drinks, free snacks. So just get the business class tickets. Buy early. No, 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 no. We're gonna put our luggages in the car and then go and pick up some food before driving off to our first uh, destination. Yay, we got our rental car! Um, it was supposed to be a Jeep, but apparently they say like it's out of production. So, no Jeep. Uh, no idea what brand is this, but yep. The car itself looks extremely dirty, but other than that, um, it's fine. I think the insides are like quite clean. Uh, let's hope it's okay to drive. I have never tried driving on the left side of the car before because in Singapore it's always on the right side, right? So I hope it's okay. I hope I survive. We shall see. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna test drive the car for a bit just to familiarize myself with this car. So far it's like super huge. I'm like sinking into the car seat and like can't even see the top. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. Okay, I'm done test driving the car. We went like a few rounds around the car park. Thankfully, the car park is very, very, very big and empty, so I could just drive it around. Um, this car is a bit light. I feel like it's a bit sensitive, so I probably need some time to get used to it. But I have four days to do that. I hope I will master this car by the end of four days. Oh, oh, right. Forgot to lock the car. Yay, we went to the supermarket to grab some water for the next few days and our lunch! This is... It's supposed to be pizza but it looks very mm, interesting. 
It's like Roman style, I think. Roman style pizza. Okay. And he got um, Panzerotti again. It's really hot. I do not want to touch it in case I stain my shirt again. No. stop here it's really nice but i don't think i can enjoy the view because i'm very very traumatized by the whole driving experience i don't know the road just feels very small and the car just feels very big oh okay anyway the view here is really nice ah uh, every corner is nice every corner is a view by itself i love it uh, This is the cable car that we're gonna take. Gonna buy uh, tickets now. Yay, we're in the cable car now. Going all the way up. Okay, so this is our first destination. We're gonna see El de Suisi. Um, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And uh, basically, you take a cable car up, then you see like green meadows. But I'm not sure if you need to hike up there or not. But we arrived a bit late, it's around 5 now. And the last cable car down is 6 pm, unfortunately. So we only have like around an hour up there. So hopefully, we see something. Lah. Exciting! Welcome to the land of poop. It's poop and poop and more poop everywhere. <laughs> I spot some horses, but they're so far away. So cute. Oh my god, we came one level down and saw this view. Oh, thanks to Lionel's bladder because we needed to go to the toilet. <laughs> Okay, so we're going back down now. Anyway, I think one hour is like okay, just enough because there's actually nothing much to see here. It's just the, the fields, but the fields is very nice. So I think you can spend like one or two hours here, but one hour is okay, lah, good enough, I guess. <laughs> Second hotel. Oh! Oh my god, these are all fake! This is the real one. Okay, anyway. Wow. Okay, the room is a little bit smaller than I expected, but it's very nice. <laughs> wow, we have a balcony. And, uh, this is the view for now, absolutely nothing because it's very very dark. <laughs> Actually there's a mountain behind here, but it looks a little bit imposing at night I feel. I always feel like mountains at night look very imposing, but I think in the morning it will look very very nice. Yay, can't wait to show you all the view tomorrow morning. Here is a deck, I guess for events. Ah, nice. We are going for dinner, it's 7.30. And I forgot about dinner, but as usual, I know the foodie remembers. So yeah. we're going for yeah. dinner. These are our dinner options. 
Lana is having a beer. Why are you having a beer? Is it you very traumatized by my driving? <laughs> wow, this place is so atas. They give us some uh, complimentary starters. This is chestnut something? Chestnut cream. Cream? <laughs> with like mushrooms and toasted bread and olive oil. Then it comes with like... Bread basket. Bread basket with mm -hmm. butter. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, this is our dinner. Unfortunately, I already mixed it up, but it smells really good. It's um, tagliolini with prawn and asparagus and mm -hmm. lime. Yes. It looks so good. And then this is Lionel's, <coughs> uh, what is it, lamb? Lamb with, with a lot of, uh, random of artichokes and bok choy. Okay, let's eat. gonna explode after this but it's okay <laughs> how Europe's yogurt just tastes different from what we have in Singapore. It's extra nice and their granola also. Help, I overestimated myself. I finished the yogurt and I'm like exploding already. Look at my plate. Look at Lionel on the other hand. He finished his own plate and then he took another plate. Oh my god. <laughs> how was your breakfast? Do you nice. feel full? Too much. I can't it now. Oh, yeah, almost there. Show how enthusiastic your chewing is. Second day in Dolomites, we got our tickets. Let's go. Sucheda um, and I uh, forgot what are those names but oh my god it's so nice check out the view uh, check out the view from here it's so nice the little town down there have a lot of little houses
going for the bread. <laughs> Very interested in fruit. <laughs> you should finish your bread soon. <laughs> this is more spicy. <laughs> Almost 1 p.m. in the afternoon, and we can still see the moon. I spot a cute doggy. Oh my god, here! <laughs> and here! So cute! Okay, so we are done with our hike here. It's a very, very nice place, and uh, I think from here you can see all of the important mountains or sites that you need to see in Val Gardena so I think if you don't really have time you can just come to this one place will do let me show you okay so this is Cicada um then this wait no this this is the Sela group and this is the Sasso Lungo so from here you can actually see oops like the main mountain ranges lah so if you don't have enough time just come to here we'll do okay so now we're just gonna sit down here and take in the views before heading off to another place lah Anyway, Dolomites might seem like a very difficult place to visit because when I tried to like research on it, um, there were a lot of hiking trails and like don't really have very um, straightforward maps that I could follow. But then when I came here, I realized actually it's quite easy. So you just go to your hotel and ask them for a map. Then they will give you a map of that area itself, which will look something like the... Yep, so the map looks like this. Then from here, you can see like these are your main areas of interest lah. Like... Um, this is your what is this? Sasso Lungo. This is Sicida, Sicheda, where we are at now. So we are here and we can see all the way like here, 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 here. So actually, yeah lah, just get a map and go to like one place of interest and you can see everything else. Then another thing to take note of is that you can buy a day pass and you can see on all like the um, cable cars and the leaves, but it's only operational like during some times of the year. So um, by now, me of October, actually a lot of the cable cars are not open. So I guess the best time to come is maybe September. But I don't know if September will be hot or not. Nah. Then I think another thing to note is that um, I guess Otise will be a good place to base yourself because there's a cable car up here to help the Suisi, which we were at yesterday. Then there's a cable car up here to Sacheda. Sicheda, where you can see everything else lah. So yeah, I think staying here is good. Or oh, or oh, even here, where is this? Christ Christina. Christina. Yeah, here also good. You can take a cable car up to see Sasso Lungo. Or oh, you can take a cable car up here to Sicheda. Then from here to here is just a very short, like I think seven to eight minutes drive from here to here. So you can go drive here, take a cable car up to LB Street also. Okay. Yay! Okay, another thing to note is that all of these cable cars uh, have a one-way or a two-way cost. You can either buy like a one-day um, day trip um, pass that costs I think 51 euros to take unlimited rides or you could just buy um, 
one way or two way tickets everywhere you go lah. Depends on how many cable cars you're taking lor. So for us now, there are not a lot of cable cars that are open. So a bit of a for us to buy like um, a one day ticket lah. But I guess if you come in September where most of the cable cars are open, then it'll be more um, value for money to just get the day pass. Okay, so now we are going to take our second cable car all the way down somewhere there. <laughs> oh yeah, anyway, I think y'all should go and get proper hiking shoes. Mine is like a normal, um, I think, jogging shoe from Decathlon. And uh, I feel like the grip is not very strong and I feel like my feet is slipping inside my shoe it, it, itself. So, yeah, go and get proper hiking shoes. I mean, this is walkable also, but I think proper hiking shoes will make you feel more secure lah, when you're hiking upwards or even downwards both ways. Going all the way down. We have been walking like what feels like forever but we are not even halfway to where we want to get to oh my god and some of these roads are not easy to walk on okay some of it is quite like rocky and stony so if you don't like pay attention you might like sleep <sighs> why are you laughing I've only been walking for 57 minutes Oh my god, it feels like forever! <laughs> Help! <laughs> anyway, pro tip. <laughs> Y'all should go get a decathlon walking stick. This, li this thing is a, it's a lifesaver. Um, yeah, just get the cheapest one. The cheapest one will do. Um, like, gives you a lot of stability, I guess. <sighs> oh my god, we came all the way from up there. This little, like, building there all the way down here and it took us one hour I am so tired now <laughs> Okay, I have decided that my aim in life is to earn enough money and buy a holiday hut in the middle of Dolomites Yep <laughs> Another pro tip is to come here when the weather is like cold but not too cold which is like now and now it's the perfect weather. We walk for so long but I never sweat eh. Sometimes it gets very very cold in the morning and at night but the pro tip is just to layer la. I'm wearing like short sleeves now and I don't even feel cold. But in the morning I have like my jackets. It has like two layers. It has a fleece layer and a like windproof layer. So uh, I just wear whatever I need now. Okay, so we were walking past, we were supposed to go that way down to the cable car but we saw this thing on the ground, Dolomites UNESCO World Heritage and apparently there is a viewpoint so we are going to take a detour and check it out since we are already here, <laughs> might as well. The view from here is so nice, look at the mountain, oh, I love it. Okay, we decided to not head to the UNESCO viewpoint because we think it's all the way up there and it's very very steep and we are already half dead. <laughs> this is the view halfway up the UNESCO uh, viewpoint. So I guess if you're, you're very tired, you can just stop here but I don't think the view up there will be any much nicer than from here. I'm gonna take a break while he sets up the tripod. We're gonna take some photos. <laughs> we are finally at our destination. We're gonna take a cable car down from here. We came all the way up from there all oh, the way down and it took us like almost two hours but i think the views were super nice and it was very very worth it right right <laughs> but my knees are dead <laughs> yay we're finally on our way back down after two hours of hiking we are so tired <laughs>
I've been collecting pins uh, ever since I came to Europe uh, for exchange. And this is my first pin for this trip. <laughs> We're at dinner. Look at Lionel with his full pint of beer. <laughs> Wow, this is our dinner. I think we're at a German restaurant. This is a steak with like, I don't know, caramelized onions, potatoes, and this is Lionel's, um, what is it? Venison stew? Yeah. It smells good. Cool. It's a super huge serving. This is my hand. This is the plate. <laughs>